Welcome back to Dugoscopy TV. I have Constantino Cancella in the studio and he is Head of Asset Management for BCGE. Welcome today. Thank you. So at BCGE, you believe finance is an applied art and not just a quantitative technique. So what would your advice be to investors right now? You mean in terms of investment? Exactly. Uh, we, we will recommend to be invested in equities right now and to, to avoid bonds and uh, equities and cash. And mainly uh, what we prefer at the moment is Europe, Europe equities, that's it. And the S&P recently hit a new high, so obviously equities, you know, is quite an interesting place. But what it, exactly what type of equities would you suggest? So it, it's true S&P um, recently hit a new high, but it's not the case for the other markets. If you look, for instance, of Europe and even emerging countries, it's not the case. So we are very far from the from the summit, I would say. So uh, what we prefer, as I said, at the moment is Europe, mm -hmm. because uh, we find that the, the valuation is very attractive. Okay. On the other side, we found that the economy is slightly recovering, uh, what's a, go a good news. And uh, in terms of uh, sector, what we prefer now are cyclical stocks and small and mid-cap stocks and especially in the consumer discretionary area, or IT, or materials, and also in the industrial uh, sector. That's uh, where our money is invested now, mostly. And how are you feeling about gold? Mm, <laughs> we have a bad feeling about gold. Uh, first of all, we think gold is not an asset class. It's not an asset because it's, uh, it doesn't produce anything. It's more a speculative, uh, let's say, uh, asset than uh, a real asset. Uh, on the other side, um, we, we, we are not very, very bullish about gold. We don't, we don't think the price will go up again where it was unless you have uh, something that happens, uh, let's say, in the political field or some, something like that. But, uh, we, we don't like gold and we, we would not uh, suggest to invest in gold. And going back to equities, and now some believe there is a equity bubble. Do you think that's true? Do you think it could burst? And do you think equities can't survive without liquidity from central banks? Hmm. This is a, a very broad question. <coughs> uh, uh, let's start perhaps with uh, the liquidity. Uh, it's true that uh, the liquidity politic of the, especially of the Fed, helped equity markets to, to recover after the, the crisis. But uh, on the other side, uh, the other markets did not. So we, we don't believe that there is a bubble now in the, in the equity sector. What we believe is that uh, the market has turned from um, a liquidity uh, or central bank liquidity market to a normal or a fundamental based uh, market. And uh, when we look at the, at the, um, at the companies now, uh, in Europe or in Japan or in the United States, what we see is that uh, the, the companies are doing very well and that the market has noticed that the fundamentals of the companies are good and very sound. On the other side, the, the fundamentals of the economy also are not so bad. Uh, so. We believe that uh, the market now is looking at the fundamentals. So unless there is, a, let's say, a, an accident in the, in the politics of the central banks, uh, I think the market has some room to still uh, increase uh, the price. So we are, not, uh, we are not pessimistic. We are not excessive, but we are not pessimistic about, um, about equities. On the contrary, we are positive. Um, and I would also suggest that it's not only the, sen the, the Fed or, um, uh, that uh, influenced the, the markets, but uh, the other central banks also had a decisive uh, action. Look at Japan, what happened in Japan, or even in Europe uh, last year when uh, Draghi announced uh, what he announced, what happened to the market. So uh, for us to, 
it, it's good to notice now that uh, the investors are more focused on fundamentals than on the central bank issues. And um, it's very interesting to, to see how far the markets recovered this spring mm -hmm. after the, let's say, the, the, the announce that uh, the Fed would uh, stop uh, its help. So it's interesting. And what will you be closely watching out for over the next coming months into 2014 in terms of the markets? Um, <laughs> there are a lot of issues, of course. Um, one, and maybe uh, the most important, is how the central banks will go out of these uh, liquidity uh, programs. And um, we hope and we, we believe that um, they, they have all the instruments in place to, to get out. So when you look, for instance, of the European Central Bank, they, they decrease the balance sheet or so without any, any problem. But uh, the problem could be uh, on political issues. Uh, politicals or politicians could try to influence the, the, the action of the central banks, and this could uh, uh, give some burden in the markets. Uh, that's one point. On the other side, we closely look at the, uh, the recent um, economic developments. And we clo closely look at the, yeah, well, the real economy, how it, it, will, uh, uh, it will evolve, uh, because for us, it's the most important thing. Constantino, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank and thank you, you for watching Dukoscopy TV. Do stay tuned as we have plenty more coming up on the show today. Goodbye for now.